this video we are going to discuss about moon as your dharkarka we can represent it with the simple term dk and when your moon will be your dharkarak when the lowest degree planet in your chart is of moon then it is your dharkarak in this video we will identify the spouse will how will be sensitive emotional nurturing lustful all will be calculated by the position of moon in different houses in your birth chart so we are considering here moon is your dharkarka or dharakarak if moon is placed in your birth chart in the first house it means your spouse is sensitive emotional and nurturing personality and health condition will be very good feelings will be loyal if your dharkarka in your birth chart is present in the second house then the spouse will focus on finance money and social values and family speech will be very soft no permanent source of income often seems and there will be ups and downs in finance if your dharkarka means moon is placed in your third house what can you conclude about your spouse his nature her nature skills hobbies and inner courage this position makes the native your spouse curious to learn everything now in the fourth house the digbali moon is placed here then he or she will have mother like feelings respects and honors towards you he or she will love home mother vehicles property and peace of mind will be priority for her moon in the fourth house becomes or makes the native emotionally attached to the mother or mother in law now if moon is placed in your birth chart in the fifth house then intelligence stock market education romance will be very good the fifth house is the house of intelligent and romance and kids all are excellent highly attracted towards their children will be the aim of your spouse now sixth house if it is placed in the sixth house in that case the sixth house is the upachya house dusht sthan so he or she will always try to remain away from legal issues obstacles steps and etc and colleagues and disease kind of illness now if your dharkarka is placed in your chart in the 7th house in that case uh, you, it gives your spouse mind and good thinking and emotional characteristics he or she will be business minded your spouse is very witty and enjoys laughing and joking now 8th house in the 8th house if moon is placed uh you are unhappy if you do not have a special someone in your life your husband or wife will be the nurturer in your relationship and is caring and compassionate now if your dharkarka is present in the ninth house what does it will happen ninth house is related with philosophy religion and beliefs teachers and gurus and knowledge and he or she will always respect them the spouse always respect religion they have a, a lot of things to learn in life and they practice to gain profit from them now in the 10th house if your dharkarka is placed in the 10th house it means that your spouse can become moody sometimes it is a good idea to always have a peaceful and serene environment for your spouse now in the 11th house Uh, if the energy is unbeat and positive this can positively influence your spouse and husband in your life since 10th house is related with father so here father has great influence on your spouse relationships and he or she will be caring just like his father now in the 11th house if your dharkarka moon is placed in the 11th house in that case it will give some a uh, counseling nature network and social circle will be very high and he or she will be friends of friends kind of nature and you will gain uh, more wealth uh, after marriage in this scenario 
now in the 12th house if moon your darkarka is placed in the 12th house in that count in that way this uh, you you also need to be careful what you say to your spouse because he or she is so sensitive your spouse feelings can easily be hurt in that case or he or she will be a good writer by nature say radhe radhe and subscribe the channel with a smile namaskar jai shri